Hi foodie friends, Jessica here with Savory Experiments and today we are making one of my most fun and festive party salad dressings. Party salad dressing, the two don't really go together, but they do if you are making a dirty martini salad dressing. You heard me right. This is great for dinner parties because we serve the salad in a fun martini glass with olives. Everybody is going to love it. It comes together super easy and you can have it any night of the week if you just are craving a martini and don't actually want to make one for yourself. We are going to need special equipment for this one. I use a blender. You can also use a small food processor. And all of these ingredients can be very versatile. Use a little bit more, use a little bit less. Totally up to you. It will still taste great. Make it up to a week ahead of time and keep it in the fridge. Just shake it really well because it is an emulsification before you need to use it next. Let's get started. First, we're gonna start with white wine vinegar. So while this is a dirty martini salad dressing, I don't make it boozy, but you could. I have seen people use a shot of vodka, shot of gin, shot of vermouth, any kind of favorite booze that they like in their martinis. I have kids, not gonna do that. It is still gonna be nice and briny and super tangy because of that white wine vinegar. So this is one fourth cup white wine vinegar, and of course, olive brine. I am the lazy cook, you guys know that, right? So I'm just gonna pour it right out of the cup there and aim for about a half a cup of olive brine. Get in there. So this is a dirty martini salad dressing. If you want a little bit more, go for it. If somebody doesn't like olives, this might not be the recipe for them. I've had people ask me if there's anything they can swap out. And there's not really much you can swap out, so you're just gonna have to forego that. Next, we have brightness from a lemon. You can also add in a little bit of lemon zest if you want to, and I actually just got a seed in there. Let me grab it out with my spoon. It happens to the best of us. He's a little swimmer, and actually I see one of his friends in there. Let's grab him out. There we go, and now we're set. Okay, we've got our lemon juice, so it's half a lemon. I'm gonna plop in five to six olives. These are pimento stuffed olives. Pimentos aren't actually roasted red peppers. Most people think they are. A pimento is a pimento, but they taste so similar, no one would ever know. Green olives, that's what I'm using. Black olives aren't gonna give you the same flavor as a real martini would. So go for the green. You can also use a blue cheese stuffed olive. Fantastic, but your salad dressing will be a little murky because you get that blue cheese that's now spun up in there. It'll taste great though. I have about one clove of garlic. You know me and garlic, the more the better, but in this recipe, we really want the olive to shine because it's a martini. So I go a little bit lighter on it. I have a half a shallot. This was a very large shallot, so I actually used about a third. And I'm gonna use some fresh rosemary. I love the earthiness that it brings to the dressing. Thyme also works well, as does parsley. And you know what, if you don't have any fresh herbs on hand, just fork out, don't worry about it. It's not gonna make it or break it. I just think it adds a little bit more sophistication. We have a healthy pinch of coarse kosher salt and a few grinds of fresh black pepper. Fresh is always better when it comes to pepper. Some of the pre-ground stuff starts to taste a little bit like sawdust. And if you're gonna use pepper, you wanna use pepper. Okay, get that lid on there. I'm gonna give this a few pulses before we start to emulsify it. And that means add the olive oil and hope that all those particles bang around against each other enough that they start to combine instead of separate like oil and vinegar would if you just poured them in together. So here we go. While you can leave little bits of olives and the rosemary, garlic, shallot, whatever it is in there, it's a salad dressing, so you don't wanna to have too many large pieces going at one time. Totally up to you if you like that, a little bit more toothiness and texture, go for it. Now we're gonna emulsify it by pouring in some olive oil. I'm gonna use about a half a cup, but I'm totally eyeballing this until I see it the right texture and I hear it. Yes, you can hear it. You'll start to hear it feel thicker and pull a little bit more against the blade. So here we go. Turn that on. Then I'm gonna make a mess out of myself. I'm gonna pour a little bit in before I get it going. 
See that? Do you see the change in the color? It's now like a white, thicker, creamier substance. That substance is also now all over me on my counter, but it was worth it if we've got an amazing salad dressing, wasn't it, foodie friends? And there we go. It smells like I'm about to have a martini for lunch. I wish that was me, a lady who lunches and just drinks martinis and has a light salad. Girl can dream, right? I'm gonna use a spoon because I might get a little bit too much on here if I try and pour it out of this blender. Okay, just a little bit goes a long way with that pickle brine. It's very e. Very good though. These salads, you can make whatever salad you want. I'm using baby spinach, arugula, a couple of grape tomatoes, thinly sliced red onion, cucumbers because they're fresh, a little bit of crunch, and feta cheese. You could also go for blue cheese if you're using blue cheese olives or just to get that blue cheese olive effect. So there you go. Cheers. From my kitchen to yours, have a great day. And remember, subscribe, like, comment, tell me you're out there. I love hearing from you.